Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing well. So we have, uh, alhamdulillah, completed the concepts of binomial theorem, okay, or binomial expansion, whatever you want to call it. So in this video, we're just going to be solving some past rubric questions, okay? And this is where everything sort of comes together, everything that we've learned, every single concept. And uh, we, we don't know what concept we might have to deal with, okay? And that's the thing, that's, it's, that's the point of making this video so that we learn how to recall and apply every concept at once. So anyway, let's get straight into it. So here's a question which says, find the coefficient of x in the expansion of 2x minus one over x to the power five. And this I should mention is uh, fairly recent. It's from major 2017, paper 12. Okay, so we have x in both the terms, all right, and we're looking for the coefficient of x. So what do we look for? We look for the value of r, which we can then use and find out whatever it is, the coefficient of that we have to find, okay? So we start by not knowing the value of r, and so we write 5cr, 2x to the power 5 minus r, and if you move one upon x in the numerator, the power becomes minus one, or in fact, you know what, let's do that in the next step. So one upon x to the power of r, okay. So temporarily, we just ignore everything that does not have x with it. So that means we're gonna ignore five CR and for the same reason, we're gonna ignore two and for the very same reason, we're gonna ignore the one. So this becomes x to the power five minus r and we move x from the denominator to the numerator. So it becomes x to the power minus one to the power r and this we set equal to x to the power one. Okay, so that we know what value of r to use to get x to the power one. So this becomes x to the power five minus r into x to the power minus r is equals to x to the power one, which means x to the power, same bases are being multiplied, that means powers are gonna get added. And now we ignore the bases and compare the powers, which means five minus two r is equals to one, which means four, five minus one, which is four, equals to two r. Let's write this nicely, two r equals to four, r is equals to two. At this point, do not get carried away and think this is the final answer. Now this is the value of r that you're gonna plug in and find out the coefficient of x, so five c two, 2x to the power of five minus two, that's three, and one upon x to the power of two. Okay, so let's solve this. Five C two is 10. Now you guys probably know how five C two is 10. Into two x to the power three, so that means eight x cube into one upon x square. So x square gets canceled out, and in fact gets reduced to one, and we reduce the power of x cube from three to three minus two, which is equal to one. Okay, so what's 10 into eight equal to 10? And by the way, there's a minus sign over here. 10 into eight is equals to 80 X. And as far as the final answer goes, the final answer is just gonna be equal to 80. And you can see that is indeed the correct answer. Okay, now questions like these are actually the ones that I'm really looking forward to solve so that you understand that how a full length question can look like. Okay, so it says here, find the coefficient of X in the expansion of so-and-so. Now, what do you have over here? You have one plus three X square, okay? And you're multiplying it by two X minus one upon X, okay? So what you have to do over here is think to yourself that what are the terms that I can multiply with one plus three X square so that you get the coefficient of X at the very end, okay? Now, your immediate reaction might be that we just multiplied by the coefficient of x, which we found earlier, okay? And that is 80x. Now, while that is correct, there's nothing wrong with that. Let me write that with a different color, yeah. So while you may be thinking that, hey, uh, in this expansion, we had a term, okay, which had just x in it, which was basically 80, 80x, okay? So what we can do is we can just multiply the one in 80x and find the coefficient of x. And you're right, you're not wrong, okay? But what you also have to think of is what, why do we have this three X square for? Is it useless? Maybe not, okay. So just to be on the safe side, let's think, uh, or let's find out rather, that there may be a term, okay, there may be a term which has maybe, okay, we don't, we don't know that for sure yet, there may be a term which has X in the denominator, okay? So that way, if you think about it, you gotta be one step ahead of the question, okay? So that way, if you think about it, once you multiply three X square with whatever this term is, now since it has upon X, so the X square and the X will reduce to just X bar one, okay? So what that means is, that means what I'm really looking for before I give my final answer is, to find out the coefficient of one upon x, okay, in this expansion, or one upon x since is equal to x power minus one. So you could say that I'm really looking for the coefficient of x to the power minus one, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do for now. So for now, I'm not gonna worry too much about uh, what 
the term is going to be rather than I'm going to worry about how to find if whether or not there exists a coefficient of x uh, 1 upon x okay so that's like I said that's what I'm doing so 2x minus 1 upon x to the power 5 okay so we're looking for the value of r that gives us the coefficient of 1 upon x okay so I should probably not waste that much space okay so we start by this we start by 5 c r 2x to the power 5 minus r into minus 1 upon x to the power r. Now, the good thing is you don't really have to do most of the hard work all over again, okay? Because you already know what it reduces to. You already know that the x on the left-hand side, the powers, once simplified and everything is done, it becomes x to the power 5 minus 2r. Now, instead of setting x to the power 5 minus equal to 2, uh, 5 minus 2r, equal to x power one, I'm gonna set it equal to x power minus one, because remember what we're really looking for is the coefficient of one upon x, so that we can then multiply it by three x squared and get the coefficient of x, okay? So this is the equation that we're now solving. So five minus two r equals to minus one, which means two r is equals to six, which means r is equals to three, okay? So I'm skipping a few steps because there's not a lot of space that's given to us, okay? now r equals to three is the value of x, which we're gonna use to find out the coefficient of one upon x. Okay, so let's do that over here. Five C three, two x to the power five minus three into minus one upon x to the power of three. Okay, so five C three, let's see what is that equal to? Five C three is equal to 10 into two x whole squared, which means four x squared into minus one upon x cubed. So you can probably see where we're going with this. So 10 into four into minus one is minus 40 and the x squared from the numerator gets canceled out and x squared upon x cubed is gonna be equal to one upon x. So this whole thing becomes minus 40 upon x. So that means the term that we were looking for is actually minus 40 upon x. Okay, so I'm just gonna write this nicely. 80x minus 40 upon x, okay? So now what we suspected turned out to be true, okay? So we multiply the one and 80, so that gives us 80x. And then we multiply the three x square with minus 40 upon x, okay? Which is gonna give us what? Which is gonna give us minus 120x. Why minus 120x? Because you're gonna have x square and x in the denominator and x square upon x is actually equal to x. So what's 80 minus 120, fellas? That's equal to minus 40. And there you go, that is your final answer. So whenever you're doing binomial theorem questions, especially when you have, whenever you're multiplying more than one expression to find out the coefficient of a certain power of x, just remember that you gotta pay close attention to make sure that you don't miss out a term which you can then multiply with and get this, get whatever the coefficient of x that you're asked to find, okay? So you just gotta try and think a step ahead. Okay, so here's another question which I'm gonna solve and it says find the term, and this by the way, is from also from October, November. Actually not also, but it's from 2017, October, November, paper 12, okay? Fairly easy question, you have X in both the terms, these are the questions that you should be really looking forward to. Uh, and uh, just one simple formula that you're gonna use, okay? So we're looking for the value of R. So nine CR, two X to the power nine minus R, and minus one upon, 4x squared to the power of r. So we ignore everything that does not have anything to do with x, which means 9cr, 2, minus 1, and 4. So that means x to the power 9 minus r into, so we move x squared from the denominator to the numerator, and we set this equal to, independent of x, by the way, means x to the power 0. So this becomes x to the power 9 minus r into x to the power minus 2r equals to x to the power 0. So let's see what do we have now. So we have 9 minus minus r minus 2r, so that becomes minus 3r equals to x to the power of zero, so we ignore this. Nine minus 3r equals to zero, which means 3r equals to nine, which means r is equals to three. Now that you have the value of r, you can then plug it back in to find the cof term that is independent of x. So nine c three, two x to the power nine minus three, which is six, and minus one upon four x squared to the power of three. Okay, if everything goes well, the x should cancel out. So 9c3, let's see what is what that is. So 9c3 is 84. Two to the power six is, I think 64, but let's check it out. Yeah, that's 64. X to the power six into minus one upon, four cube is also 64. And what happens when you cube x squared, that becomes x to the power six, okay? So 
x to the power 6 and x to the power 6 gets cancelled out. 64 and 64 cancels out. And 84 into minus 1 is minus 84. And as you can see, that is the correct answer. Okay, so I'm just going to solve one more question for this video. And then the remaining questions I will solve in some other video. Okay, so this is from May 2018, paper 12. Let's see what this brings to the table. So this says the coefficient of x squared in the expansion of 2 plus x upon 2 to the power 6 plus a plus x to the power 5 is 330. Find the value of the constant a. Okay, so a fairly easy question, five easy marks, honestly, in my opinion. Coefficient of x squared in this term, in this expansion can be found by using r equals to 2 since uh, x is in the second term and same goes for this one. And whenever, when we have the coefficient of x squared, we're gonna set it equal to 330 and everything should hopefully fall into place. Anyway, so let's start by the first expansion, which is two plus x upon two to the power of six. So using r equals to two, and why are we using r equals to two? Because x is in the second term and we want the coefficient of x squared. So 62, two to the power six minus two, so that's four, x upon two to the power two. Let's see, so 62 is 15, two to the power four is 16, into x squared upon two squared, which is equal to four. So four ones are four, fours are. So 15 into four is 60 x squared. Okay, then we bring our attention to one plus x to the power five. The, for this also, we will use r is two for the same reason as we did earlier. Okay, not six c two, five c two. Five c two, a to the power five minus two, which is equal to three, and x to the power of two. So five c two is equal to 10, a, cube x square. Okay, and as far as the coefficient goes, the coefficient of these uh, of um, x square and both the expansions are basically 60 and 10 a cube. So 60 plus 10 a cube, this according to the question is equal to 330. So this is the equation that we're gonna solve and if you do it correctly, we should have ourselves the value of a. And these are actually five very easy marks, okay? So 10a cube is equal to 270, so the zeros get canceled. Zeros get canceled out. A cube is equal to 27, which means a is equal to plus three. I was gonna say plus and minus three, but since we're taking cube root, it's only gonna be plus three. So yeah, that's uh, it for this video. I've solved three possible questions in this video. In the next couple of videos, inshallah, I'll do some more, okay? But more or less, the concepts are the same. Uh, I will try and cover some past papers that are slightly different or, and also difficult uh, so we can get some more concepts um, cemented, okay? So yeah, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.